What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. What are we doing? Unboxing. Something finally showed up today. What are we boxing? We're in a boxing match. Five rounds. Can I just quit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the victor. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, one of my figures finally showed up today. Uh, Arnaz already opened it because uh, we're having problems with PayPal and stuff with it. But it's here, so we're going to go over it. Because today, if I get to, hit un get to open my 1975 X Plus Godzilla. The hideous monstrosity. I've been waiting for this guy forever. God, it sucks so much. Even the box is all just like the paint is on and ripped up and everything. Look at that. Hideous. I like that he's kind of like uh, unfocused on the box too, from what I can tell. It's not a very clear image. Oh yeah, I've been wanting this guy since I've seen him come up because uh, since I have the X Plus uh, 75 Mecha Godzilla Titanosaurus. Complete like, collection. Yeah, it seems like a good fit. So when you get him out, that's what he looks like, just a bunch of plastic covering his stupendous body. Actually kind of big. How big on a body would be? Well, he's 30 centimeter. Oh, I'm not going to be able to attach his tail here. Why? I need a hair dryer. Uh, Does Courtney have a hair dryer? Yeah, somewhere yeah. downstairs. Oh, it's downstairs. I'm not going down. Why can't you have one upstairs? There's a bathroom up here. It should be well stocked. Mm, we could use the hair dryer. Well, yeah, that, that's the kids' bathroom up here. You could. I go night night now. You can't go night night. We gotta finish the videos. We still have one more to film because we haven't done one of these in a, in a little bit. So. Everyone's yelling at it. <laughs> so we got an idea with that. We have to like give, tell people the winner. So here's the tail. Kind of stumpy. But eh, this was pretty short to begin with. Oh god, his legs are twisty tied too. So is his neck. So on a high note, uh, hopefully not the next video we do, but the video after. Uh, I'll try some gaming ones because we're not sure how the audio came out of those. Uh, get some more mics. So hopefully the audio mm. quality will increase while we're over here. Well, we have a mic. It just it echoes. It needs to be like right here. Yeah. So I, the stands came in. So we have two stands now. But uh, waiting for the extra mics because I just ordered two more and I'm taking that one home. Place there isn't as bad of an echo, so it should be fine. Did you uh, untie his neck? I don't think so. No, I didn't. Steve, you Good are call. Hey, Steve. Well, I'm tired too. I've been up for 26 hours. What do you want from me? I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack every day. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. Oh, God, he's out. Oh, okay. Hey, look, he's got a Michael Jackson glove. Aww. Aww. <laughs> With a foot in the grave, look at that. So, here's uh, Mr. 75 open up out of this cardboard prison. Ooh, I like his jaw. Like, look at that. Yeah, I like the side view a lot. Side profile's really nice. The front's a little, like... Odd? Like, slightly off. His teeth look really cool, though. They're pretty good painted. It's just like his eyes kind of look dull. A little bit. Like he kind of has a 64 thing going on where it looks kind of glazed. <laughs> looks a little stoned. Steve, can I smell his hole? Maybe it'll help wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I regret all my decisions in life. Eh, there you go. You know what? I'll, I have some super glue. We'll just glue <laughs> yeah, we'll just glue that to it. Yeah. Sounds good. So that's kind of what he looks like with his tail on. Uh, I'll attach it for uh, a review on Super, which will be pretty soon after this guy. I might try to get pictures done today, no matter what, tomorrow. We're playing Death Day, Steve. You have to keep me up until like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. I have to make dinner. I'm making mushroom and Swiss, mushroom and Swiss brats. Ew, that sounds gross. You're gross. It's delicious. Oh. 
Have you had some Philly steak ones from this place? Oh, no wonder you're so fat with high oh. cholesterol. Yeah, just, <laughs> there's a reason why I'm probably having a heart attack. Uh, I haven't had a heart attack, but I have a monitor because I've been having pains, which is why videos have been slightly inconsistent lately. Slightly. But yeah, uh, looks good. His nails aren't painted. I think that's the thing that kind of bothers me. Why would I do that for? Like he has no paint on his nails. Yeah, I mean, they put the tips, you know, the paint on top of the uh, dorsal spines. Why did they skip out the nails? Yeah, they're kind of silver for his dorsal spines. You guys see? It's not bad. I, maybe a little brighter color might have been nice. It's been a while since I've seen Terror. I might have to pop that in just to get a better look at the suit because... I don't think it, like, uh, to my understanding, it was a new suit. I think it's just the same suit as we got in the last one, but they just upgraded it a little bit. Like, I think especially in the head. So what is his height in the movie? 50 meters. Poor, poor bastard. Sea lines aren't bad, though. He's got one here. You can see them, but they're not that bad. Yeah, they're on the arms. You can see where the suit actor seam line is, right there. Can't see the air holes though. I don't think anyways. I was about to say that are there. Shouldn't they be right there? Should be like right around here. Yeah. But you pretty much just got like the scaling for the suits. Which definitely looks odd, that's for sure. Yeah. It could be the nails like he said that's throwing me off, but you can... Well, it just seems like his hands are kind of tiny. And it's just like the way that they're hooked, because they're pretty much like this. And it might be nice to maybe have like a little bit of a gap, because his other hand, this hand is slightly off. While his other ones literally just, they're all connected. But yeah, it's just super stubby hands. Hmm. Guess we'll have to wait for a review for the... Yeah, I'll definitely have to check out the movie. It's got three toes. Yeah, I wish I could get the tail on. I'm not going downstairs for the dryer. Like, to me, the tail maybe is a little short, too. Maybe. I know, like, the the later show, uh, his tail wasn't really that long, but... You gotta figure, you had to be able to, like, balance on to do the kangaroo kick. <laughs> oh my god, don't remind me. <laughs> so, I know, I think it was a little longer. Todd, I, kinda, like, I got mixed feelings right now. Like, I like this. I like the side view. Just turn them sideways. Yeah, like the side view is really nice for this guy. Front view is not so bad. It's just like head on, like straight on. He's super happy. Is the odd part. But we have him like side view. Looks really nice. But then again, it's like his tail's kind of seems a little short. So yeah, uh, I'll know more for the review. Because I'll probably uh, pop this in tomorrow. Well, you know what you can do Because I'll be off Thursday, so. Just hide this tail between the other X-Pluses so that way you don't see it out of sight, out of mind. Just keep it unattached, but just kind of in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just got, he's got a it. shin tail. It's way up here? Yes. But what would the little head be? Would it be Minya? <laughs> it's just, it just reaches around the building. Hello there! <laughs> God, kill it. <laughs> or just camera. I can see Gabber being on the end of the tail, just like a little red fluff ball right there. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that sound is he makes. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Like, I've never had an X Plus where I got out of the pack and like, eh, disgusted with it. But, I don't know, as of right now, I don't think he would crack the top. It's iffy, like... Like right now, I say I, I like him better than the the Burning Gods that I got, the 25 centimeter. God, you really hate that thing. It's probably my worst X Plus. Which is sad because it's probably, it's one of my more favorite suits. But that X Plus is like, eh. Like the Destroyer is way better. Because the main reason for that figure being so low is just because the way they designed it to work with the Rick, if you got the standard, it was still designed to work like the Rick, but just without the lights. So the details on it weren't as crisp as most other X pluses. So when it's standing on your shelf, it looks great. But it's one of those like when you get close to it, you start noticing some of the problems, especially in the head. Well this one seems like it's just some of the proportions might be a little off. But again I kind of I'll have to pop the movie in just to make sure. 
But the way he looks like, he still looks like he looked great next to the other two. I feel like we should rewatch all the movies and do full in-depth review of them. But our reviews are already like 20 minutes long, dude. But no, I, I, I need to give my thoughts now on Gamera. <laughs> Gamera's You did give your thoughts up. <laughs> that was when I was pissed. Maybe watch this stupid rerun, Steve. What the hell? The movie's bad. The movie's pretty bad. I should do, like, my favorite monster movies. Well, we can always do, like, your top 30 Godzilla movies. Gabra. There's no way that's number one. Yes, it is. How is Godzilla's Revenge number one? The 97. Then 2000. 98. It's 98. Oh, I'm sorry. 98. God. Then, uh, I don't mind that one. Then 2014. Then the 2000. I think it might make some people Abra. angry. Then the think... Abra. <laughs> Well, let us know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, and come a range of day, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Give me my tail back. It is kind of short, isn't it? It does look short.